Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our farm basics time today, we're going to talk a little about soybean flowering. Now, soybeans, they're kind of a weird plant. We have what we call determinate soybeans and indeterminate soybeans, so we want to explain the difference and what we are looking at here in the northern United States when it comes to soybean flowering. Well, there are determinate soybeans that are grown mostly in the southern United States, and those determinate soybeans will go through all of their growth stages first, so they'll be a completely full-size plant, then they'll start flowering. Well, that's a little bit different than the beans that are grown up north. Yeah, the indeterminate soybeans, they can actually still be growing vegetatively and be flowering, so in other words, in the reproductive stages, at the same time. So these indeterminate soybeans, they are considered shorter season soybeans. They're grown in the northern United States primarily, and what they are triggered by is the shortening of the days. So the longest day of the year is June 21st. After that, the days start to get shorter. The soybean plant senses that, and then it's gonna start reproduction. Now, it may happen a few days before June 21st. Sometimes the plant will get tricked, but basically it's right around that June 21st time frame. So in other words, I don't care if you plant April 1, May 1, June 1, the plants are all gonna start flowering at about the same time. Well, that's a big deal for management of the soybeans. So for farmers, they know that in the vegetative growth stages, soybeans are pretty tough. Honestly, you can yep. take a hail and a hail event and wipe out 90% of the leaves and hardly hurt yield at all. But once we get into those reproductive stages, then that plant can be a lot more sensitive. It can be sensitive to things like hail, like Darren mentioned, but it could also be herbicides that farmers are using. It could be diseases, insects, you name it. The point is, once you start seeing those flowers, uh, you know, hey, we gotta be really careful out there and we have to pray for great weather because we need it once that plant begins flowering. So again, with these in indeterminate soybeans, that flowering is going to begin occurring somewhere around June 21st. Happens every year and you just have to be, we just have to be prepared for it on the farm. Well, soybeans are an interesting crop and one of the challenges with raising soybeans is keeping tough weeds out like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 